Hey everyone, so in this video you're going to see me float in the wall that I scratched the other day. I'm going to show you how I do it. I know there's a few other ways of doing it, but this is just my method and this is how I was taught. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting a band of sand cement in the middle. What I'll do is that then I'll make sure that I've got a decent thickness. I'll put my level on it, make sure that um, I know that it's going to be good. And then I'll put a band of mortar at the bottom and then I will use my straight edge and I'll go across it and basically that should give me all the guidelines that I need then and then I can just fill them in and then I can just rule off and make sure that it's all nice and flat and level. Keep working in the stuff so you can maintain the thickness that you're using. So you just keep on working the stuff so you're going to be making sure you've got a good thickness. The bottom two bands now are pretty good, the level's pretty good, so I'm just going to get the top on, level it off what I've got there, and then I'll fill in the middle after I've done it all. Right, let's keep on going. Right, so my float has nails inside of it. So basically, when I'm rubbing it flat, it's leaving a key so that I can put some skim on it later. If there's places where it's bold, that's gonna have more chances of the skim actually falling off because there isn't gonna be enough key for it to stay onto. So that's why you put as many scratches on as you can, just to make sure that your skim does actually stick to it. Right, so this wall's now floated and ready, so it's lovely and flat now. Just gonna wait for it to dry, and then um, I'll be able to chuck some skim on it. I can either do it the next day when it's gonna be quite green, and uh, it holds back a bit, we, or you can leave it a little bit longer, and it will you'll need to wet the walls when you're putting some skim on. Right, so what advice would I give when you're sand cementing? Try and persuade me to use drywall adhesive. So tips for when it comes to sand cement. The main thing is you really want to watch how good your mix is because a bad mix makes everything hard, whereas a good mix makes everything easy. So always check your levels, always know what your backing's like because if you've got red brick, then you're going to need to use some water to try and control the suction. Right, one thing I would say about sand cementing is there are many different methods of doing it. My way is just the way that I've been taught by my father and which his father passed down to him. So if you have different methods, I'm not saying my method is the only way, just um, there is lots of different ways of doing it. And as long as the job is right at the end, that's all that really matters. Well, cheers guys. If you like tips like this, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I can do a few more like this for you. Right guys, thank you very much for watching these videos. If you do like them, please like and subscribe. Um, I drop these videos every Tuesday, 
Um, I try and drop as many different types of videos as I can, but I'm just trying to spread a little bit of my knowledge that I've got and hopefully we can share knowledge and all improve together. Right, cheers, thank you for watching guys. I'll see you on the next video.